Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, Mitch, because how to resolve the Microsoft Outlook error message that you cannot start Microsoft Outlook, cannot open the Outlook window, the set of folders cannot be opened, it cannot be accessed, you must connect to the Microsoft Exchange at least once before you can use your Outlook data file. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder in here. Double click on it. And then go down to Office and double click on that one as well. And there should be a number in here. So in our case, it's 16. 16 just indicates, I believe, the last three versions of Microsoft Office. I think it's been 16 for a while. I think it used to be 15, then it was 14, something along those lines. But I think the 2019, 2016, and 2021 versions all are 16.0. So anyway, go ahead and double click on it. And there should be a folder in here that says common. Double click on it. And then finally, there should be an identity folder. Just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And now on the right side in a blank area, you want to right click, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Name this value enable. Now capital A-D-A-L, so again, enable A-D-A-L, A-D-A-L is capital, E in enable is capital as well. So again, enable A-D-A-L, I apologize if I said enabled, it's enable, E-N-A-B-L-E, A-D-A-L, hit enter on your keyboard. And now you want to go ahead and double click on this value. Make sure value that is zero, which should be by default because we just created it. And then you would select OK. And now underneath of it, we're going to create another value in here. Right click in a blank area, select new, and then the word 32 bit value. Now you're going to name this value disable ADA laptop WAM override. Note that there's two R's in override, that's how it's spelled. W-A-M is capital, the O in override is capital as well, so you've got these four letters capital. And then the A-D-L is capital as well up here. So D and disable is capital as well, so first letter of each word is capital, and then you see these additional characters that are also capital. Make sure you have it exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter, double click on it, and set the value data to 1, so delete the 0. Type the number 1 numerically in here. Base should remain hexadecimal, and then select OK. And once that is done, you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So I'm going to just proceed to close out of the registry editor window, and I'm going to restart my device. There you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. Do a positive will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.